Hey, my name's Andrew, and if you're trying to get better quality TikToks, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels, then today's video is for you. The first question I think I have to answer uh, at the beginning of this video is why would you want better quality TikToks, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels? Well, it's becoming very competitive out there, and everybody out there is making TikToks and YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. If you can have a little bit of a competitive edge and make your videos look more professional, I think you're gonna stand out and you're gonna get more following and more people um, enjoying your content. So at the end of the day, I don't think you have to do any of these steps, but if you want to take your videos to the next level, that's what I'm going to help you do today. So I want this video to be simple and concise, so let's just jump into it. I'm using the Canon M50 and a couple of other accessories, and I think what I can get out of this uh, $600 camera is really good quality. Of course, you can substitute any of these products out for different products, so this is not like <laughs> I've tested a ton of products and this is exactly what you need to use, but this is just what's worked for me. So for the first part of this video, I want to talk about the rig itself. So. Like I said, you can substitute any of these products, but starting off with the first one is the tripod, and this is the base, and I think probably also one of the least important things. This is a tripod that I've had for a really long time, and it's really cheap quality, but it's perfect for just making simple short videos. So use any tripod you want. I'll leave a link for one that I think looks pretty nice. But on top of that, I have the Canon M50 mounted, and I'm able to have the camera mounted sideways because I'm using a small rig cage. now. You don't have to use this step, you can skip this one and just mount it on the bottom of the camera and then simply turn the tripod like 90 degrees so you're getting that vertical shot. But that's just what works for me, so this little part looks kind of silly, but this is the microphone setup. Now, the reason I have it pulled out more is so that the microphone can be closer to me and pick up better audio. And I'm using a small rig arm extension, I think it was around $30. So you don't have to do this step either, but I think if you get the microphone a little bit closer to you, it's gonna sound a lot better. And the microphone that I'm using is the Sennheiser MKE 200, which is a really nice affordable uh, microphone, about $80, and it sounds really good. And audio is definitely one of those things that kind of is neglected. If you use your phone, the audio that you're gonna be getting out of that is pretty poor quality. So I definitely recommend picking up this microphone, and if you can, get this extension arm for 30 bucks and gets a little bit closer to you. And the nice thing I like about this setup is that it's very portable. I can pick it up and move it anywhere I want to get that shot I need, and everything's just ready to go. That's kind of the camera tripod setup. Now, I'm also using a light, a softbox, and this is also a important step. Um, you don't have to buy a softbox, and I actually haven't been able to find this one that I bought on Amazon, but I'll leave a link for one that I think looks similar. The light lighting is very important because as you, as you can see in this shot, um, the one half of my face is lit while the other side is more shadowy, and that's just a very cinematic, more professional look. So you don't have to have this uh, softbox, but I think it really does add to your videos. If anything, I would recommend recording your videos in front of a window because all that natural light's gonna come in and shine on your face and it's gonna look really good. You know, lighting is one thing that people forget, and audio quality is one thing that people really neglect. So both of those things I think are gonna enhance your videos. And of course that paired with the Canon M50, you're gonna have a really good combo. So the lens I'm using right here is the Canon 22 millimeter lens. This is just gonna get you a little bit more blurry background compared to the kit lens, but the kit lens that you get with the Canon M50 is a really nice lens too for this kind of content. And I wanted to talk about why I recommend the Canon M50. I think it's a really nice camera for the price. It's about $600 for the Canon M50 Mark II. I would definitely recommend it because you're gonna be able to use it not only for videos like this, but you can, it's a small compact camera, you can use it for vlogging, and it also does really good with photography. So. You know, if you're in the market for something like that, I would recommend the Canon M50, even though it's kind of an older camera here in 2023. Now I kind of wanted to show off a sample video of what this setup will get you. So you turn on the camera, um, and like I said, since everything's ready to go, all I have to do is hit record, and now suddenly I have a great vertical video setup. So this is kind of a sample. Um, as you can see, the background is nice and blurry, and I'm well lit, and the audio sounds really good. So. That's what this setup can get you. Um, that comparison, I wanted to show you a uh, comparison to a phone. Now my phone is kind of an older phone. But in comparison, this is what a phone looks and sounds like, and um, I'm gonna switch back to the other one. Definitely looks a lot better on my Canon M50. But of course, this is kind of an older camera. Uh, this is uh, an older phone, so it's not gonna get as good quality as like newer phones, but I still think it's pretty well comparable, so. As you can see, the difference is pretty crazy. 
So that is my setup. Um, I know, like I said at the beginning of this video, why would you want something high quality? I think it just makes your videos stand out more, and I think if you can make your videos better quality, I think you should. I think it's gonna make your audience uh, appreciate it more. But at the end of the day, looking professional is only as important as the content. So definitely focus on keeping your content the, the main priority, but hopefully this video helped get you a more professional setup and give you that kind of confidence that you can go out there to make content. So, but that is it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like. If you have any comments or questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more gear reviews or uh, tips and tricks, um, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you next time.